Hey yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Tenny on scene one and uh, today again I bring you another yet another update of my game, the FPS one this time, yes. Um, to be honest, I don't think that there's much worth update noting, but yeah. Anyways, first of all, I would like to thank everybody. I, I reached like over 800 views on my last video and it's been only like a week and I really appreciate that. I'm really happy about that. And um, I also reached um, over 300 subscribers. I really thank you all for supporting me and I will continue making this uh, possibly and might as well start making tutorials again. And uh, though I would say that if, you could, if I could reach 400 subscribers, then yes, I would definitely start make, making tutorials back again and stuff like that. So we might have that stuff. I'm trying to, uh, you know, get a as much as of as many people to my channel as possibly I can and and I won't I won't possibly be you know costing you anything so free tutorials free stuff everything I can possibly provide you with free links to how you know some of my techniques and everything or how I set something up you know some videos like that showcase videos tutorials anything and everything so thank you again guys and keep on supporting me really appreciate that but anyways back to topic uh today i have a, a kind of a graphical update regarding my first person shooter game which i've been working on uh to be honest i fell sick this week and i pretty much wasted half the week being sick and i don't i don't regret it <laughs> but uh now i didn't got much time again thanks to that but uh, I did set up something graphically it, it again with free assets uh, well I guess it'd be best to just show you guys so anyways here we are all right so here we are uh, in unity and we have uh, you know just it actually looks weird but it, it is beautiful in its own way so um, I just downloaded this this free uh, rock 3d model really amazing physical based uh, rendering supported and uh, it is just amazing it's purely amazing I just create multiple variations of it by rotating it on all three axes scaling it on different axes and everything like that okay so really just made everything look good and secondly we have this new grass uh, which is again again let me rephrase not not exactly rephrase let me mention it again that it is all free this everything is free I'm just collecting free assets which are open for commercial use but I still have a couple assets which I am a bit uh, you could say worried about which are not free at the moment but I am still working on it as I said so I didn't got much time so and I'm I'm still I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of actually modeling some myself which I I'm starting to not trust lots of websites which which are just distributing those such assets for free and they are and it, it turns out that they are ripped from other games or are actually just you know non-commercial or for educational purposes only and that is definitely not a way to go with for, not, not for me at least so yeah I replaced the uh, weapon model but I still have I'm still using the same old hands model in the animations which I had and I found out it was actually Modern Warfare 3 models which were on the internet for free. I didn't play much of the Call of Duty games. Um, I did play Modern Warfare 3 and such other games but it's been so long since I last played that so I wasn't able to recognize it. I'm sorry okay. But uh, then again I will be changing that again soon. Anyways so the grass is basically from the blacksmith demo which is free and it took me quite some time to figure out how you could start painting it so apparently you can paint grass over any any 3d model in the scene anything okay and it works really well as you can see it is really well shaded you can just see it has this really nice specularity effect it's real time and it could be really expensive on your GPU however so you might want to reduce the um, rendering distance or reduce the density uh, the rendering distance is basically if you go back and you see the grass stop, uh, scales down. It doesn't like disappear right away. It scales down. If you come closer, it starts scaling up again. So it's, it's a really nice uh, LOD-ish effect level of detail. I don't know. So anyways, and one more thing I have here is uh, 
is these textures. They are really amazing, as you see. Uh, these are the PBR textures. I will link to them in the description. They are free and uh, just amazing. Uses height maps, uses uh, normal maps, and they're just utterly amazing. So uh, I've wasted enough time on this, I guess. Uh, it's finally time to get back and work with and show you how it all looks like in real time. So I would like to use uh, a build version instead of this. Uh, I am so sorry. <laughs> Just give me a second. Okay, um, there we go. All right. So I'm just gonna wanna bump it up. I, I, I just bump it up to like um, just 1080p because it's else I'll just probably have errors or something like that. So, anyways, yeah. Here we are. So here we are, and the game just boots up. I, I don't have any main menu. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna add any main menu any sooner. But just gonna start it up. There we go. So here we are, and uh, you know the first impression or the first thing you see is, I, I believe, the weapon itself. The weapon is again another free, yet another free weapon off the asset store, and um, it is really well made. However, you could say it has a lot of unnecessary polygons. If you you could use it for first person views, but uh, I rather not use it for third person view as it it is really costly on the GP. I think it's about nine thousand triangles or something. I don't know if that's a decent value to be honest for FPS games because I'm kind of new to FPS games myself, making FPS games myself. I've been usually working on 3D, uh, 3D third person games, so yeah. So anyways, I uh, improved the bloom effect, so it's a bit more, you could say it has a bit more radius, it spreads a, a lot, and it has this really nice uh, lens dirting effect you might see, you might notice on the screen. It, it was there before as well, but like it just intensified it. And uh, basically, you know, there's not much to it, I'll just reduce the sound so that, okay. So, um, again, not much to it, added this uh, running procedural thingy, it's, it's just rotation. <laughs> it's not even that procedural and all, but uh, yeah, I guess that's it's, uh, better than nothing. Then we have this really amazing specularity effect on certain objects, really amazing grass, you could just notice that, just just look at that. It's not perfect, for some reason feel appears a bit transparent a bit fading like and everything and then we have um, uh, yeah just just some graphical improvements the uh, huge what can I say rocks or boulders they look amazing and uh, I don't know it's just all so amazing I feel like and yeah the, the animations are the same as I said so you see how horrible that was like, look at this look at this what is this yeah that's why I'm gonna make my own animations and change the hands I don't want to deal with any copyright issues trust me I don't want to do that <laughs> so yeah um, anyways then we can just move on and we have um, and I'm trying to make my game uh, as procedural as possible it would be better if I could figure that out because I'm a horrible animator you know I, so I thought that I would check out um, ultimate you know UFPS asset on the asset store it is amazing uh, however, I would rather not use it in my project because I do believe that, you know, I would like to code everything myself, learn myself, and if possible, share the knowledge with others rather than just copy or get all the pre-made assets. I mean, 3D modeling art is something different, okay, and, and programming and coding on your hand, it's different. Uh, honestly, I would love to, to uh, you could say, learn how to... 3D model properly the techniques I, I I have learned a couple before but yeah I I know no one wants to listen to this boring chat but anyways back to some more action we have this uh, really amazing uh, bloom effect I, I might have gone a bit overboard for that but yeah and we have this really amazing light uh, indirect light and light uh, what can I say bouncing effect as you can see on the weapon on the left side it has this really amazing orangish uh, you could say feel to it and the moment you just go away, it just goes away. It's pretty much light bouncing, and uh, yeah. And again, this is yet another in, uh, texture from uh, the PBR uh, shader, or well, the PBR textures, and uh, everything like that. And it really works well, I think. And I, I'm just sorry. I, I, I feel so bad whenever the real animation plays. I feel like I'm, I'm done with everything, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, it's, maybe it's not so bad, I guess. I took out the uh, uh, reflectivity part, which should be around here, but it is a bit reflective, but not much. 
And yeah, then again, we have the really amazing models and everything. So I guess that makes it for everything. I still have yet to improve the mechanics. I had some issues with the third person player, so I still don't, I, I don't have it at the moment. I found a way to fix the uh, aiming for him, however. I won't be showing uh, the multiplayer part this time, but that's about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I guess that's about it. There's, there's not much to show this time. I'm sorry, it might be a disappointment. But I guess uh, graphics do play an important role, but a game without proper core mechanics is not fun at all now, is it? Really, like, I, I, I changed the, uh, you know, uh, swing effect for the weapon as well. It feels like it has more weight to it now as you can just see the way the weapon moves. It's just it just feels really amazing Yeah, and this 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 rock does, doesn't get affected by it real-time GI for some reason as you can see it's horrible <laughs> but uh, yeah that works and yeah anyways guys uh, I hope you liked my presentation and I hope you I don't know you liked it I guess and I'll keep things professional but anyways I'll be bringing you something much more amazing possibly next week uh, well next week not possibly but yes next week uh, I guess possibly, but then again, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, I hope you liked this, and I still have yet to learn a lot, improve a lot myself, and as I move on, I'll be sure to share my knowledge, share everything I have, okay, and before I go, I might as well just show you guys um, how the vegetation system works, I guess. So yeah, let's not let, let's keep it more productive. Uh, all right. So back to this part. Uh, we have the vegetation system. Uh, I'm gonna create a new example for this. So basically, we have this this main component. It's called the vegetation system itself. It has this. Uh, it has two scripts. Uh, vegetation system and the Vega data. Honestly, I have no clue how they work. Okay. But as far as I can see, the vegetation system itself uh, applies for the overall, the entire vegetation in the scene. That doesn't include trees, but the grass, really. Uh, it it uh, works for, you know, it uh, handles how it is rendered. Uh, as, as you can just see, there's a render mod, there's uh, some of the indirect resolution color. It can work with the color of it. If it casts shadows, if it receives shadows. Uh, you can see uh, the distance, okay, uh, the look distance for it, I don't know, the density, the distance, everything, and if it should be billboarded. So as you can see, it, it kind of looks towards us, and if I turn this off, it no longer does. And honestly, it, it, this looks horrible, kind of. Uh, maybe it could be better. Yeah, okay, it's actually not too bad. Yeah, actually, this is better, I think. Wow, I just discovered this. I mean, uh, I, I know that this thingy does work, but yeah, this just makes it feel more dense. So it's like uh, there's a there's this 3D grass and it it doesn't change all the grass to billboard but it adds some extra grass effect and all and it kind of adds that so it's billboard and something like that you know you feel me <laughs> but anyways then we have um, this uh, vegetation baked data this handles like uh, it's not like you can just paint directly over you know the ground with such HD or high definition models or something like that. So what do you have to do is you need a component and that is paint job. So you need to let's say create an empty game object and let's say I place it um, somewhere there. Okay and let's say I want to paint over uh, this rock as well and stuff like that. So I place it there I add a paint job component to this. Uh, sorry paint job component. Uh, honestly, I have no idea what, how the layers work because I played around with them and I didn't saw much of a difference. But I did replicate it from the original scene and the settings were as follows. It was like nothing and everything for, for 
painting and blocking layers. So that's one thing. The terrain template, on the other hand, it requires one of the uh, terrain templates, which are, I believe, it comes with it, which is, which contains the information for um, basically the grass. That's it. So it contains different types of grasses and everything. And then we have the uh, density, so how dense this, this particular area or this particular block will be. I'm just going to set it to two. And I wanted to be able to paint on terrain, so yeah. Now to, to get started, we need to add some painting objects, and that would be the terrain. So I just add a terrain. There we go. You can paint on the terrain now. And I want to add uh, some rocks, so I can just click the rock and possibly add this as well. So... What I like to do is I would just go back to my vegetation system. No, sorry, uh, my paint job, and just drag and drop this there. Now we can paint both on both of these. And basically, to get started, uh, you just need to click on the open paint job, and you just you'll just notice that it's there. It's actually going to be the beneath the thing. No, actually, I'm sorry, I messed up. Give me a second. Uh, discard paint job. Just we need to scale. Okay, <laughs> this needs to die. We need to scale this so that it is it, it occupies a specific volume or something like that, else it will not work. Okay. So if I scale it like this, for example, and a bit higher as well, so it uh, it works for the y-axis as well. It keeps track of the y-axis as well. There we go, and we can just put it back there. Open paint job, and as you can see, it creates a terrain for us. Pretty cool, isn't it? And we can just start painting with uh, different types of grasses. So I have this grass, it's pretty long, and I can just start painting there, and there, and there. And try to keep it as low as possible, because, you know, if you want even a little bit overboard, then it's going to cost you a lot of, like, it's going to just make it a, a, everything feel really dense and uh, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to want to do that. Okay. And possibly add some of this this just a combination of everything and once done you could just go ahead and select paint job save and close paint job that's it so we're done and you, you might say ew what what is this yasin seriously what are you trying to sell us no i'm not i'm not trying to sell this first of all <laughs> but anyways um now what do you just do is you just go back to what your vegetation system you capture it okay so capturing means it will uh pretty much find all the paint job component in the scene and you can say disable them that's it and you try click on bake vegetation i don't know if it will work right on the box there you go it worked so now as you can just see it picked all those and it uh used these corresponding uh materials which we have here uh for certain things and it just you know created uh, some uh, 3d models or something like that rendered them here i i, I put it multiple times there okay but it, as you can see, it works really well and depends on the collider of the object, of course. So this, the collider is not really well, so it's a bit in the air. But yeah, anyways, it works really well. It looks amazing. You could just make amazing scenes by the use of this this grass. It is completely amazing. So um, if possible, I might upload a package, a Unity package for this. But uh, honestly, it was pretty hard to grab uh, to, to gather all the assets together. So I'll have to figure that out, sort them out first. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you guys um, liked all what I'm working on. It's nothing much really at the moment. It's just a hobbyist, fun project. Might release it for free. I might not release it for free. Might make some tutorials on that, possibly in the near future. But anyways, guys, that's about it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And well... I'll see you next week. Peace out.